so I just found this uh, little fake cow sitting around and I just thought I'd make this fun. So this is a cow, a little steer, and this is my rope. And I had, I'm not very good at this, but we were talking about versatility and starting our horses on something fun. And we were talking about, you know, starting on the ground versus starting on the horse. So what I was taught was to take the end of the rope that's got the tassel, you know, it doesn't have the loop, and make your loops. This one's going to be on the inside. So what you do is you hold the, the strings over here in your palm like that, right on your, in, in your fingers, not on your palm, and then your thumb over it so that they come out real easily like that. On it like this because then if you pull on it like this it won't come out so you want to have about this much between you when you make your loop make your loop and then you want to be able to like touch your belly button and spread out like that a full arm's like that I don't know if I'm explaining this right not like this like you think you would you do have to twist your wrist but he said you've got to you got to put it over your head and throw it like that. So when you let go, you want to be throwing it right at that cow's head. And it's actually going to start from over here because your arm is over here and it's going to loop around and land on the cow's head. So let's see if I can do it. I haven't done this in a long time. So it's like your arm is shaped more like a upside down L or a sideways L, an L laying on its back. This is the back of the L, and this is the little leg of the L. And when you throw, it's more of like a hammer motion than a slinging motion, okay? So you want to be going around hammer, around hammer, around hammer, around hammer. And on one of those hammers, you let go and pull. And I just got me a cow.